this week, you're watching Friends of NRA in Coos Bay, Oregon, right in the sand dunes. This week, our travels are taking us all the way to the West Coast. We're headed out to the state of Oregon. We're going to have a lot of fun with some of the Friends of NRA committee members. I'm Jesse, world champion shooter, outdoor enthusiast, and lifetime NRA member. I'm Matt, former Major League ball player, a dedicated whitetail hunter, and devoted NRA member. Together, we're exploring the back roads and interstates of the U.S meeting real Americans and sharing their stories. Helping to secure a solid future for shooting sports with the Friends of NRA. Well, first stop on the tour is Coos Bay, Oregon. We're gonna do a little ATV ride. We pull up to meet up with Don Leatherwood, who is the chairman for the Coos County Friends of NRA committee. Now, Don's got a couple of his other committee members there waiting on us. Uh, we're going to go out to Riley Ranch and okay. uh, do a little tour out there, hit the dunes down, oh, cool. down the ocean. Can I drive? You can no, drive. No. Head inside to meet the owner of Parker's okay. ATV and Cycle, and they have been nice enough to donate a couple of ATVs and UTVs for Jesse and I to take out on the sand dunes. Don tells me you're a big sponsor for the Friends of NRA. Can we do what we can to help out? Yeah donations and stuff. Well, as I'm walking through the store, I've kind of lost track of time. We might be in trouble, because she's going to be here all day. It's got a unicorn on it. I have no clue where Matt went, but I'm just grabbing things left and right. I see a pretty colored helmet, a jacket, some pants. I'm going to need a purse. I think we're going to ever get out to the trails today. It doesn't look that way. Yeah. Waiting on Jesse. Sometimes it get dark. <laughs> hey guys, is, is the purse too much? Oh my god. I can't decide. Really? When she walked out and she even had a purse to match her outfit, I'd call that just a tad bit overkill. She did look good though. Don't you look, look like okay. you're ready for the X Games. We're just I am. That's what they said the girls wear. Maybe the purse was just a little bit too much. So I decided I'll go back in, change. I did grab some goggles and gloves and we're ready to hit the dunes. But it seemed like the entire committee was there. They all had their dirt bikes, four-wheelers, ATVs. They were all here to ride with us. The machines they had for us were souped up racing dune buggies. There's a chicken bar right in front of me. I'm determined I'm not going to grab it. We were going up and down the sand dunes, doing donuts. So we are just having a blast all day, hanging out with all the Friends of NRA committee members. It was cool to get them out of their element, because they spend all year working so hard, raising money, getting banquets together for the Friends of NRA program. As we were riding, one of the guys busts out a couple of sand boards, and of course we had to have a race. Go! Go! Oh, dang it! She was zipping down that sand dune pretty quick. Just as I thought it's not even worth trying anymore, she fell. <laughs> so I did what, what any innovator would do. I picked up my sandboard and I took off running. Hey, we have a the winner! We never stipulated what the rules were. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like they got my sponsors. I'm gonna go ahead and claim king title sandboarder for the week. Oh, you cheated! We hop back in our buggies, and they tell us we're going to the beach. Awesome. The Pacific Ocean was revealed to us. It was just a, it was a really beautiful sight. I haven't gotten to drive yet, so we find a place to stop, and I take the wheel. You ready? Yep. Woo! Now, as we switch positions, I was a little nervous. So you know what? I'm gonna make Matt grab the chicken handle and I hit the gas. Come to find out, these things operate on two wheels. We got stuck in the sand and the buggy starts to tip and it was like slow motion. I was fearful for my life and I looked down and I've got a death grip on the chicken handle. So I look over and Matt is hanging on to the chicken bar. I have reached my goal and I figured I've beaten up on Matt enough. We'll just go find a high spot, take a break, and you know, get a chance to talk to the guys a little bit. I got made it grab the chicken handle. Yes, we did. <laughs> we can get Don uh, off to the side and hear his story to see how far the committee has come. It takes a lot of work and we have a small committee, and uh, but we have a real 
It's a real good committee. Everybody's committed. It's a we thing here in right. Coos County. And you said you raised 56,000 last, last year? Last year, we raised 56,000 net dollars with 350 people. Actually the highest in Oregon really? ever. Yeah, we spread it out through Oregon. Over 70% goes to the kids' programs. Y'all do a sure. tremendous service for us. Well, we had a great day hanging out on the dunes with the Friends of NRA committee, but it's time to head to the next destination. Matt has to leave for a short trip, but he'll be back. But I'm going to hop in the truck, head inland, and continue the journey. Friends of NRA, presented by Brunton, is brought to you by Brunton Hunting, the real deal since 1894. Legacy Quest, pass it on. Hunter Specialties, Stuff of Legends. Weatherby, nothing shoots flatter, hits harder, or is more accurate. The NRA Endorsed Insurance Program. No one understands firearm insurance better. Sound Gear, superior hearing protection for shooters. Well, we have had a blast. Our first day of the Oregon trip here in Coos Bay, Oregon. All the guys from the Friends of NRA committee chair here are doing a great job raising a lot of money that's going to the entire state of Oregon. The whole state of Oregon. Yeah. They showed us a really good time. And even though you have to leave right now, I'm going to continue the good times. I've got a girls' day planned at the range, and then I'm rafting down the river. Oh, well, y'all have fun. Right. I'll catch back up I with you a couple of days. See you later. Bye. I'm headed out to the Redmond Rod and Gun Club. I'm going to meet up with Jennifer Babcock, who is a local Friends of NRA committee chairman, but she has also started a local Women on Target program, so I'm going to get to drop in and spend a day at the range with the ladies. I'm Jesse. I'm Jennifer. It's nice, nice for you to come nice out. Nice to, to meet you. Range. Thank you for having me out here. Yeah. Looks like you got a lot of ladies already out here ready to shoot. Yep. We started <laughs> a couple of months ago. We had a Women on Target event here mm -hmm. at the range, and there's just constant emails of more and more people wanting yeah. to attend. I think it's wonderful that you've given them this outlet to, to be able to come out here to the range because a lot of women don't have that. Yeah. Jennifer started the local Women on Target event here, and it was normally just an annual event, but there was such a demand from the women to get out and shoot that she's turned it into just a monthly open night. Come to the range, bring what you want, and have fun and shoot. Well, I have met up with Miss Babs here on the range. Babs, tell me, how did you hear about the Women on Target event? I was sitting in my house one day. So if somebody came in the house, I wouldn't have any protection whatsoever. Kate was talking to some of us, and we decided we wanted to learn how to shoot. I finally got to shoot. I think that's wonderful, especially having a Women on Target event like this. It's, uh, it creates a, a great avenue for ladies to come out, be comfortable among other ladies, and learn how to handle firearms correctly and safely. So I think that's wonderful. One of the ladies I got a chance to talk to at the range, Kate, she actually informed me that she started her own ladies shooting group not too far from where we were. We live kind of in a rural area. And many of these women are, are widows. Yeah, they really they need to know how to yeah. handle a gun. And, and it just gives you some empowerment. Absolutely, absolutely. You can to take care of yourself. Yes. You don't have to have someone else there to do it. That's right. You know, everyone kind of had the same story. They were either wanting to be out here just to shoot and have fun, and some of them were here to have a better sense of security and self-empowerment. Jennifer, it looks like you have a great event out here. A lot of ladies showed up. I know they really appreciate what you're doing for them, giving them an avenue to come out here and shoot. I got to meet a lot of cool ladies and hear their story, so it was cool. Thank you for letting me come out and hang out with you for a couple hours. Well, thanks for coming out here and seeing what we're doing and what the money has, you know, brought about from the Friends of NRA. Absolutely. And it's my understanding you're joining me on the Deschutes River tomorrow, aren't you? I, I sure am. Now, have you ever rafted before? I have not. Oh, thank goodness. I haven't either, and I'm super nervous about this. Our guide has is, is got a lot of experience. He'll, right. he'll lead us right on down. I'll meet you on the river tomorrow morning. Sounds like a plan. All right. My next stop along the map is Malton, Oregon. I'm headed over to go whitewater rafting down the Deschutes River. We're getting ready to head down the rapids. And joining me today, I've got Mike, Joe, Jennifer, who we met yesterday at Women on Target, and another Mike, all Friends of NRA committee members here in the state of Oregon. Meeting me at the river to be the guide for the day is Mike McCarter. He is a Friends of NRA committee chairman for yet another committee here in Oregon. He's also a USPSA shooter like I am. He's a range officer. And on top of that, he is a 20-year veteran of rafting down these rivers. All right, everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. ready. Let's go. <laughs> well, we launch off the bank. I'm actually pretty nervous. I've never whitewater rafted before. I'm watching the flow here. And I see that white water right in front of us. <laughs> Hang on. Man, that was cold. That water hit me. It's like having ice 
dumped all over you. It really woke me up. We had such a blast just going through the rapids and really getting to experience Oregon at its best, down the heart of the river, and uh, just had fun. Mike really knows this river like the back of his hand. When they get through the last rapid, it was a doozy. I thought it was really neat today that I had two different Friends of NRA committees represented here with me to raft down the river. With Friends of NRA, and y'all have seen it in y'all's communities, mm -hmm. the money's coming back to y'all, and y'all disperse it through the organization. And this then year it was over 200000 I yeah. believe, right? Yeah, that we, that, wow. that we distributed. Yeah. The whole state of Oregon. Yeah. Yep. I thought it was neat that both of them were very willing to share tips and very open-minded with the other groups. Even though we're, we're committees that are interested in what we have going on, mm -hmm. we travel to other committees and go to their banquets. You know, we want that interaction, too, of people yeah. coming back and forth. Besides that, it gives us all ideas on what yeah. we can do to improve. The more one can help the other, the more one will grow, and that's just better for the whole program. Well, this wraps up my trip on the Deschutes River. I survived it and had a great day riding the rapids. Now I'm headed over to the Wild Winds Ranch where Matt's gonna meet back up with me and we're gonna check out the Youth Outdoor Adventure Program. They're gonna have kids in the outdoors learning shooting, hunting, and fishing skills, and we might even have time for a pheasant shoot. Well, I'm back, and I hate that I missed out on a lot of fun, it sounds like, you yesterday did. with the whitewater <laughs> rafting, but I'm really looking forward to being out here at the Wild Winds Ranch. You should be. We have a lot in store today. We're at the Youth Outdoor Adventure Program. This is something that is heavily funded by the Friends of NRA, and they bring all the kids out for the summer, teach them skills in shooting, hunting, archery. Mm -hmm. I know that's your area. Yeah, and they even have hunter's education course at the end and yeah. a little bird hunt, I hear. That's so. right. So why don't we go catch up with them, see what they have in store for us. Sounds good. Right away, you could tell this was a special group. How are you? I'm Jeffy. Jeff DuPont. Nice, nice to meet you. Matt Duff. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We're about to get right. these kids shooting yeah, here. Yeah, don't let us that interrupt. That's great. We're here at Wild Winds Ranch in North Central Oregon. We've been on it for 15 years. The kids, of course, get to do all the shooting sports and the archery and the fishing and all those things. But I feel like I need to teach the kids really? respect, responsibility, and accountability. If we don't teach them that, we haven't taught them anything. Are you focused? Are you in the zone? Don't let me take you off your game now. You got to stay, stay ready to go. I'm always focused. You're always focused. I'm I hear you. I got my money on Chase. They got a competition going on, and we hadn't been there five minutes. <laughs> feel like I'm being thrown to the lions. I watched all these kids shooting. They're all really good. She gets up there, and I was going around to some of the guys trying to pump them up. All right, look. Hey, she uh -uh. hits the target. You need to bust it the first oh, no. time. Okay, just go ahead and put her out. Yeah, I was really wanting them to put her out. Operation put Jesse out. Now you want to hit Come on, Begins. cowboy, end it. This is fun. These kids are having a blast out here, and that's what the money that they raise goes to things like this. Jesse's out. Yeah, who put her out? Moose. You the man. Moose was my new best buddy. We kind of gave him a, a post-game interview to get his thoughts on putting out a world champion shooter. Think you could take her in a head-to-head -head competition? Think so? Okay. Yeah. Moose was a, you know, looked like he was an old veteran major league baseball player. The way he handled our little post-game interview, he gave Jesse the walk-off. Yeah, I just got a head shake and a walk-off. We had fun shooting. Now it's time to head down to the next station. They're going to get to do some archery. Can I get four of you guys up here? You're off. Thank you, man. fire. I had an opportunity to shoot with a kid named Smurf. That was his nickname. We had kind of bonded because he had first couple of shots with the bow at the big targets, sailed over the mark. You know, I could see he was a little discouraged, so went over there and tried to pick him up a little bit, gave him a couple of tips. You see, when you lock it out like this, and your head's up like that, it's harder to aim, so you want to have your arm flexed a little bit and, look, and get down on it like this and really aim. Okay. And when we got out on the 3D range, he smoked the deer right in the vitals. Nice. Hey, awesome. hey, 
the, the look on his face was priceless. <laughs> These kids that come out here, uh, some of them wouldn't have an opportunity to ever shoot a bow or shotgun or rifle. Murph found it. He's in the zone. It's a no-nonsense type camp, and they fit in right away. They know with the nature of what we do, they have to want to be here. With the help from the Friends of the NRA, mm -hmm. um, it, it makes it available to a, a lot of kids that wouldn't otherwise have right. this opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of single moms and yeah. grandparents raising kids. So that's a big mix of what we, we have here. Yeah. Friends of the NRA stepped up to the plate. They supply some of the ammunition. All of the 3D targets you saw this afternoon, those came in this year. We get to the next station and it's time to shoot some rifles. Now Jeff and Jennifer have brought in an NRA certified instructor to go over safe gun handling with the kids. Back when I was you guys' age, I was involved in a shooting accident. I was in the cab of a pickup when a firearm went off. That's why I have to wear these today. It's really, really important. You're putting in your earplugs and you're putting in your safety glasses. I looked over and one of the young kids out there, his nickname was Buck. I kind of went over to him and I said, hey, you know Jesse's a world champion shooter. You need to go over there and challenge her to a duel. Well, Buck here has challenged me to a shoot off. He laid out the ground rules and off we go to our competition. I have a way to get this. Oh, listen to this. He's got tricks. You didn't tell me you had all that up your sleeve. There you go. Deep breath. I'm thinking you just took me to school, bud. I just beat a world champion. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we arrived, the kids had actually gotten an opportunity to hear some instruction on how to fly fish. Ooh, that's a good cast. What's been your favorite thing about the youth this. outdoor adventures? Fishing? Fishing? Yeah. Because yeah. I always go fishing with my dad, and mm -hmm. I always have a blast. Cool. Looks like you're natural at it. I know. Jesse and I decided to grab a couple of rods and go out there and try our hand at it. Eventually, the fly is supposed to be in the water. Dang it. I think I'll stick to my bait caster and my 10 inch Texas rig worm though and catch those largemouth bass back home in Mississippi. Go get some dinner, guys. My dinner's already caught. I'm gonna go grab it. <laughs> I think I can catch one here at last. The culmination of the week is to get that hunter safety certification. All the kids passed their test. They all got their hunter safety certification and kids are gonna get to go on a pheasant hunt. Shoot, 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 shoot! Friends of NRA, presented by Brunton, is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend, Benelli, simply perfect, Taurus, world's foremost pistol maker, 10-point crossbows, there is no substitute, Boyd Harness Company, Great products for the outdoors. The NRA Foundation. Apply for an NRA Foundation grant by visiting the NRA Foundation's website. Well, it's the last day of our trip here in Oregon, and this is really the payoff for the whole camp for the kids. They've all passed their hunter safety test, and now they're gonna go on a pheasant hunt. We're getting ready to go on the big payoff for the camp, so we've got some pheasants out here, and. Uh, kids get a chance to put the skills to use that they learn. Yep. Quick, once we see it. Whoa! Come on, boys. Whoa, girl. Good girl, Stormy. The weather was great. A lot of the kids' parents had showed up the last day and were able to come out in the field with us. Shoot, 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 shoot! Shoot! You're just behind it. Good job. No bird! Here! Good job. You were just a little bit low and behind it. That bird got a little far on us, didn't it? Yeah. We just had our first point in the morning. Very good. Proud of you. Good job, boys. It's just here. about them getting out to come out and kind of take the far. skills that they've learned this week and apply them out here hunting. I think there's a little, a little nerves and excitement going on on that first, first flush, but hey, we'll get some more. Get back in line and keep going. Keep that barrel up, please. Thank you. Come on. Got it up. Fingers off of the trigger. Very good. Oh. This is cool. I mean, this is another example of the money that's being spent, you know, buying the shotgun shells and, the, and providing the shotguns 
and even the birds, you know, that we're putting out. So Girl, throw me. Bring it in. Here. all that stuff costs Girl. money. And it's, uh, it's fun to put on a camp like this, but it's not free. And that's where the Friends of NRA is such a huge help for Jennifer and Jeff DuPont for putting this on. Off of safety. You ready? Now let's walk on in. Sean would take two at a time, talking to them about their firearm safety. Remember, don't shoot across your lines. You see him, he's right there to the left of that bush under it. Take him up to where the point was till the bird flushed and let him take a shot at it. Well, the kids had a blast. Look at that. All right. Several kids got their first pheasant ever first bird, first kill ever, so it was really uh, great to be a part of that. We're doing much more than just hunter safety here. There's life skills that go with handling a gun, the respect and the responsibility for the people next to you, for yourself. Good job, congratulations, man. Thank you. Look, you see how the colors are iridescent like that? Yeah. Isn't that just beautiful? Yeah, it is. Congratulations, how about that, huh guys? It was a great way to cap off the end of this trip is to see these kids and, and share their first hunt or getting their first bird and see their face light up. The Youth Outdoor Adventure Camp is a non-for-profit program. There is no way that they could really do what they do without the help of the Friends of NRA. And that's why guys like Don Leatherwood and all the Friends of NRA committees all over the state of Oregon that are raising money, that money turns around and is awarded in grants to places like Wild Winds Ranch and the Youth Outdoor Adventure Camp. And it helps and it's vital to what they're doing. If it wasn't for Friends of the NRA, we honestly wouldn't have a program today, so. We would not be here. Thank you. Awesome, man. Huh? How'd that feel? Good. It's, it's such a wonderful program and I'm just so happy that Jesse and I got to come out and spend a couple of days with Jennifer and Jeff and meet all these amazing kids. We had a great week here in Oregon. Friends of NRA is doing their job here. Stay tuned, we'll see you on the road. Please support your local banquets and fundraisers. We're proof that it works.